The bearing caps need to be the same metal as the frame, but they don't make the frame or the bearing caps in bronze anymore, so I only have cast iron ones. The solution to this is to buy some bronze. Uh, this is 936 bearing bronze, which is very close to the 937 the casting is made of. It's a bit less tinny, it's a bit more leady, still about 80% copper. And uh, this came from McMaster Car. It's a nominal 5 8 uh, diameter. It's actually 0.66. And uh, center up and start milling away using a Fusion C36 Fusion 360 generated uh, tool pile. Uh, this is running at uh, 10 times speed at this point. Uh, and it's still pretty slow, as you can tell. So most of the video here is going to be sped up 20 times at which point we lose the sound so I'm gonna keep talking um, or play some music uh, what's your preference I am trying to get rid of the hum in the background uh, due to the 1980s I can't actually hear that hum very well but people have complained of it so let me know in the comments if you're still hearing the terrible hum and I will stop waffling and play some open source music This is a machining channel, not a music channel, so if you have any questions, I'd rather ask those that are, rather than play random music. Uh, or if you have an alternate choice of DRM-free music, I'll play that instead. Or if you prefer silence, I can do that too. I could stop talking. If you click the like button, I promise I will stop talking right after this. This is where some of you will start laughing at me and thinking, isn't that awful thin? Isn't that going to bend and droop? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, also, all these ups and downs here are not at rapid rate because I'm using free Fusion 360, which doesn't do rapids in the G-code, so everything is a lot slower than it's supposed to. That entire pass was like 45 minutes. And uh, this uh, smoothing pass with the 16th inch end mill which are $12 each, and I managed not to break any, it is another 35 minutes just to smooth out uh, the surface. Uh, we have about 20 thou backlash in the acne screws on this, this machine, so I was very worried I would end up breaking bits. But because it's moving so slow, and I have direct feedback of position from the table into the software, it's able to keep up. When it notices, oh, uh, things aren't moving, it you know, speeds up a little bit as he thumps the microphone. My first attempt at trying to center drill the holes didn't seem to do anything. And when I tried again, I, I saw this and it's like, oh, well, that's why it's not working because things are moving around. So I put some uh, badly planned support underneath, which helped a lot. But I still ended up in the end with a part that was 10 thousand thicker on one end than the other. Uh, so for the next one, I'm going to do better and give it proper support uh, throughout the whole milling operation. This final cutoff operation was, is this is actually a 40 times speed, and I've uh, actually put the G-code speed up by two as well, because I, I forgot to optimize it and, and figure out a, an efficient pass. So it would have been about two hours to take this this off, so... It's a bit ridiculous. This is the actual speed uh, that it would have been doing all of that at. But it does pop off and it looks like a part. Looks like a part that might actually work. And, and there it is. It will actually go in place. It will do the job. I just need to do two of them. So uh, this is going to be another two and a half hours of churning away. <laughs> 